What's up guys, this is the how to spider web lace video by Lace Anchors. Um, we're gonna be doing this lace pattern on some golf shoes, believe it or not. These are actually high top golf shoes, a company called Kicker. They make some really sick shoes, uh, definitely away from the norm or your average looking golf shoes. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get this lace pattern started. Um, with the spider web lacing, you're actually gonna start in the second eyelet up and you're going to take your lace from the inside and come out of both of these eyelets. So go ahead and throw your lace in there and pull them out until it's equal lengths on both sides of the shoe. Make sure you're not twisted up. You wanna have, uh, have your laces coming through there pretty straight. Make sure that your laces are even or equal. And then you're going to actually take your shoelace and you're gonna go straight into the hole right below. So bring your lace down and into this bottom hole and uh, over on this side, straight down into this bottom hole. And this will be the start of your uh, spiderweb lacing. You can, actually can't see this one, it's buried underneath there, but that's how you start. Then you're gonna take your shoelace and you're gonna go straight up to the third hole and you're gonna enter into that hole. I'm sorry, actually you're gonna go up to this third hole and you're gonna come out of that hole. So from the inside, you're gonna come out just like that. Do the same thing on the opposite side. And you should have something that looks like this now. You're then gonna take your lace straight down below and into or through this loop from the bottom. Go underneath and come out of the top of this loop. And now you can see what you're starting to form, which is the same thing as that shoe over there. Take this side from the bottom, come out of that loop, and then you're gonna go straight up to the next hole. And you're gonna come from the inside, come out of it. Take the opposite side, from the inside, you're gonna come out of it. Make sure you watch till the end of this video and I'm gonna show you how to install the lace anchor so that you don't have any bows or knots or laces shoved inside your shoe. It gets rid of all of that. All right, so then you're going to take your laces and come through the next loop below. So it's repetitive, you just keep doing the same thing. From the bottom, come out of this next loop. Same thing on this side. Underneath, come out of this loop. Straight up and out of the next hole. Same thing on this side. Come out of this hole. All right, we're getting close to the top now. What we're gonna do is same thing one more time underneath. Same thing on this side. Underneath. Now, for the top part here, we're gonna go into these holes. So you're just gonna go straight up, across, and into this top hole, because this is where we're gonna finish off. You can finish off in any eyelet that you'd like to. This is as far as I like to go on high tops. I usually don't hit the top eyelets. You're gonna go into, and now you should have a, a completed spider web lace pattern. Looks pretty clean, it's different, it's definitely unique. I'll show you on this shoe here with the lace anchors installed. See the lace anchor sitting right here and what these do is attach to your shoelace behind the eyelet so that your lace can't pull out of here. You get to get rid of all that extra lacing that's normally shoved down inside your shoes causing issues, discomfort, coming loose. This just keeps your lace pattern solid, gives you a comfortable fit without laces, bows, and knots tied behind the tongue and uh, just look super clean. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install these now. Grab your pack of lace anchors. You can find out where these are available. Visit our website at laceanchors.com. These lace anchors come with four pieces to a packet. That's what they look like. And uh, go ahead and show you how to install this now. What you're gonna do is take your shoelace and your lace and you're gonna go through the center hole of this lace anchor just like that. 
you can push this lace anchor all the way down until it's touching your shoe and one of the holes is actually a slot. You can see that one on the bottom. Just put that one towards the bottom. When you install these lace anchors, you want them to be facing the way that you want them to stay inside your shoe. So I want my lace anchor to sit about like that inside my shoe. So that's how I'm going to install it. So now you take your lace back through the top hole of that lace anchor. At this point, you should have something that looks like that. Now there's little spikes at the top of the lace anchor. I'm now gonna take my lace over the top of those little spikes and into that bottom slot that I was talking about. And you wanna make sure when you pull this, take your time, get it right. You don't want it to be all twisted up. You want this lace anchor to be installed nice and flat. It should look clean. And I'll go ahead and pull this down and show you what it should look like when it's sitting in there. Super flat, nice and clean, sit, clean sitting up against the inside. Lace is locked in place. What that allows you to do is trim off all this extra lace so you don't have to have bows and knots shoved inside your shoes, no discomfort, you don't have to stand on laces. If you don't want to trim this off, you can actually tuck this under the insole of your shoe. So you can pull up that insole and you can just tuck this flat underneath that insole and uh, push all the rest of the, push, push your lace anchor back down. And now, in case you want to change your lace pattern or something like that, you don't have to trim your laces. Make sure you test fit your shoe before you actually trim these off. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this one right now. I don't need to test fit it. I know it's uh, about right where I like it. And I'll rotate this down inside, pull that out, and now we'll get to this side. Same thing, take your lace anchor, push it all the way down until it's touching the inside of your shoe. It should look like that. Then going to take it through the top hole of that lace anchor. You can kind of push it down a little bit. You want it to be exactly where you want this to stay is where you want that lace right now to be to have the tension. That's where I want this lace anchor to sit. So now I should have something that looks like that. And I'll take the lace up over the top of this lace anchor and through that bottom slot. Pull it nice and snug. Again, make sure it's nice and flat. Pull it up to the outside of the shoe. I'll go ahead and trim this side. Leave about an inch or two. You don't have to cut this super short. You're not gonna feel that little piece of lace inside your shoe and it allows you to adjust it later if you need to. But you can see now, here's the, the lace anchor on the inside here with all that excess lacing gone. You can see how nice and clean that is inside the shoe. You don't have bows, knots, bunch of lace shoved down inside there. And your laces are locked in place. They can't pull out of these eyelets now. So you're gonna get that same consistent look feel and fit on your shoe every day when you stick these on. Anyways, you can see how clean these, these shoes look here with the uh, spider web lacing. Make sure and, and follow us on Facebook and uh, check out our, our YouTube channel. We have a bunch of videos on there. Uh, make sure and subscribe to us. We're going to keep throwing more and more videos up there for you guys to check out and, and teach you a bunch of different ways to lace your shoes. Um, some of the upcoming ones actually, you're going to get the, uh, the checkerboard lace which I'll show you got a couple different colors. These will be some videos coming out pretty soon. And then also we have the loop lace. That's what I like to call this. And this looks pretty sick. This is on some uh, Super Vaders. But make sure and follow us, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.